the best way to do it. You meet so many more people. Has it changed your life? Um, I'm expecting it to this evening. I was once the flames start fl flaming, then I imagine I'll remember this forever and ever and ever. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Welcome to our wonderful community. I hope you take everything beautiful about it home with you. I'm sure I will. Thanks very much. You're welcome. I need to walk you back to your seat, though. Okay, hey, this is Tom Laporte back here. Um, and we're going to move away from the uh, the keyhole now at the request of the rangers who want to keep the whole place safe. We have some fire performers and we're going to stand uh, just off to the side waiting for them uh, to safely uh, conclude their performance before we move further into the inner circle. Um, the participants are uh, sitting down, a lot of them taking pictures. The uh, rangers are uh, Stiffing their resolve just a little bit to make sure that everybody stays safe, and that's why we're uh, right, safety third. Safety third, as they say, <laughs> and that's why we're uh, uh, moving slightly and, uh, and changing our position. But we intend to uh, step in as soon as we can safely do so and talk to some of the people on the in the inner circle who are with the fire conclaves and, uh, and some of the performers, some of the people who are uh, doing the work here. I've got the perfect place for you guys, right over there by the generator in the big white sail. That way, you're not in anybody's way. It's going to really rock. Yes, it's going to be great. Uh, so, and we can probably move over there right now. I'll what take you, think? you right this way. Personal okay. Uh, we have Jake and Nizzle. Uh, what are you up to? Do you have somebody we need to talk with? Brendan grabbed a couple of folks who wanted us to talk to. Okay. okay. Well, why don't we... Unfortunately, if they don't have this, they can't come in. Okay. So can... Why don't we move over to them? Can we do it right here at the edge of the... Last uh... one. Last one. This will be the last one. We got about we got about one minute here. Hey, what's up? Okay. Howdy, Blackrock. Yeah. Hey, Blackrock City. Oh, okay. Where are you from? We're from New York City. First burn? First burn, we're both Birkins. Okay, what are you, what's your uh, response to this? Man, this is, uh, I'm on fucking Mars. This is the greatest utopia ever experienced. Okay, good burn, apparently. Yeah, amazing. Okay, thank you. Any shout-outs? Any shout-outs to my people, Ground Zero crew, Miami, Florida. Mommy, I love you. Okay, and that's it for uh, that position in the crowd. You have to be careful to uh, help these Okay, we're right. slowing down. Okay. I'm tethered to... Uh, to yeah, I'm, I'm, tethered, I'm tethered to Mark Chang <laughs> and uh, moving a little bit faster than he is. Um, and we're moving over here now to uh, what would be the uh, 5.30 position. And we have, uh, we have Rangers eyeing us rather, uh, rather suspiciously, but uh, they're all being uh, real cool about it. They have a big responsibility. And here's Polaris. Thanks, Tom. It is actually turning out to be quite a nice night out here. I'm really surprised. We uh, we had some bad weather and some blowing at first, and uh, now visibility is good. You can see the man, but I've got to tell you what was so stunning, and I don't know if you saw this, at the north end, or at the, the 12 o'clock end of the man, there really weren't any people a little while ago. It was, it was wide open. I've never seen it like that. I remember reading a book once saying, always bear left. If you go in a place with multiple windows and there's a line there, you'll always move faster. Um, so if you go to a place that, uh, most, uh, that's le less convenient, less convenient, then you're going to find that you uh, move a little faster. The crowd is bulging out here at the 6 o'clock end, because that's closest to the camps. 12 o'clock um, is uh, probably uh, more sparsely populated here. Jay Knizzle, how many burns have you been to? Only three, man, in four years. I missed 07, started in 06, and we'll never miss another one as long as this festival continues. How many have you been to, Tom LaPart? I've been to six. Um, but I didn't, I didn't catch last year's burn because I was having a heart attack on Friday night before the burn and was helicoptered out of here. And uh, the, uh, uh, which brings up the subject of medical care here. Um, and I'll get back to that in just a moment. But first, Polaris. Hey, we're talking to Tori down here at the line. Tori, where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. How many burns have you been to, Tori? This is the first one. It's the first one. Wow, you look like an experienced burner. You're all covered with dust and everything. It's been really dusty. It's big and dusty here. Big and dusty. So what made you decide to come out to Burning Man this year? Friends of mine are in the DPW. They said, this is what I've been practicing for. Oh, uh, see, that's what you look experienced for. Your friends are in the DPW. Those guys are serious, hardcore out here. I agree. So where are you camping? The ghetto, Little Chicago. Oh, sweet. Nice. Well, cool. Enjoy your burn. Uh, is there anyone you want to give a shout-out to in uh, Pennsylvania? Nobody comes to mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds good. And and your name? 
I'm Aurora Matahari. Aurora, nice to meet you. Is this your first burn? This is my 13th burn. 13? Wow, you got me beat by two. Yay, I love it so much. But I want to give a special shout out for someone who can't be with us here tonight. But that's Dr. Zaki Hawass in Egypt. He's in Cairo right now. And we just love so much that he's working on renovating the Great Pyramids and really protecting all of these great relics in, in Cairo. And uh, we just hope that to support his work and... and um, bring just so much attention to all of the important food sources like Mesopotamia and all these waterways and the, the men that are really trying to protect the resources of the earth and I just I honor them so much and I, I just really am having the best burn out of all these years this is my favorite this year. Well great thank you let me ask you one more question what's your best burn memory from years other than this year? Wow my best burn memory of my entire Burning Man. Other this one requires years? thought huh? You know, I would have to say the first time when I saw the man, and he was suspended on some cables. I was dressed in green astroturf, and so I climbed to the man, and there was like a, a metal pyramid piece coming out from him that was holding a tether. And I, I held on with one hand, I walked all the way out, and I held on with one hand, and I released my entire body. and I felt so strong in that moment. It was as if everything was suspended. And then finally the Black Rock Rangers came and they said, Princess, please come down. We're worried. But they did it in such a loving way. But the thing that was so interesting is I've never ever been... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going. But at a place where I was allowed to, to explore and test my own durability, usually people won't let you have the opportunity to try something like that. That's true. Well, we're glad you were safe. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you're like, awesome. you don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Tom, back to you. Okay. Um. Then uh, some equipment here. These look like lights for the man. No, no, no. no, no. energy that is here is, is constant. It's, it's a change, but it is a constant love. And the feeling that we have with each